is Pelo and I'm going to tell you a story. Okay. My story is written on the broken back of my mother and my mother's before me. My story is unwritten by the refusal of past and the injustice of present. In seeing me, my life, my experience as past tense pain instead of present tense violence. Before I knew I was brown, I was blissful. Ignorant to the spit spat of my mother and I'm sorry. The void of helping hands while juggling groceries, a stroller, two kids, and the world firmly placed on her back. Before I knew I was brown, I laughed easy and unashamed. I played as kids do in fields before the plow and the pavement. The first time I was informed of my condition, I was six. My neighbor told me in a whisper that never went away that her family didn't like my family because we're brown. We are brown. They may be brown, but I'm not. Am I? How can my mother not tell me my father fooled me? He told me that I will not learn Hindi or Tamil in my mother tongues because I'm Canadian and they don't talk that way. He told me that I'm white and beautiful and blessed with the greenest eyes, not Indian and brown and dirt. I'm Canadian and they don't look that way. He told me I'm Catholic, blessed with a beautiful soul behind beautiful green eyes, not a Hindu, not a heathen, not a heretic. I'm Canadian and they don't believe that way. My father, dark, dark, darker than me. My mother, dark, dark, darker. My brother, darkest. And I, the hope for generations before me, painted white, white, brighter. My father's an Indian, a self-hating one at that, but an Indian. He was told, you know, taught by his father before him that he was at least half-blooded Portuguese. So there's hope. Hope came by boat to Goa. Hope came by train and plane by the British. Hope came with colonization. I would pray as a child. I would wish and hope and promise all good things to little white baby Jesus to make me just like him, to make me good and pure and whole, to make me white. I prayed to God that he would guide scientists' hands to come up with a cure, a cure for green brown. That cure never came, so I went with the alternative. De denying and alienating every part of myself that didn't fit into my little white world. My biggest cancer, my mother. Her difference revolted me. Her colorful saris, the dot on her head, the curries she'd send with me to school, I would try to educate this woman, this woman who refused an arranged marriage, defied her parents, went to a foreign land, married her Catholic husband, wore pants, climbed trees, disregarded any gender roles, and ate, spat, laughed, loud, tried to educate this woman on what feminism is. I tried to educate this woman what feminism is. She refused to learn. And the distance between us became deeper than language lost, than history mocked, and spirit denied. It became the other in my house in need of saving, and I, as every other white woman, became the one to save. <coughs> Fast forward to present tense. A racial awakening that came in a bang, in twin towers falling and once again being brown. No Muslim, no terrorist, no a traitor. Fast forward to realizing there is nothing wrong with me when weak minds turn to baseball bats. At every turn, I was victim to villain. At every turn, reclaimed, repackaged, reproduced, victimized, saved. Victimized, saved, victimized, saved. Curried, spiced, stewed, colored in mustards and reds and golds, in dirt and in shit, in savage in hate and in greed, in savage, 
in death and in rot, in savage. Fast forward to red hot rage that will not go away with anti-racist pins and patches. Fast forward to red hot rage that queer people of color are given no space within wide smiles of come on in, we need more of you here with us. Fast forward to not thanking you for being a human being. Fast forward to expecting respect. Rewind to knowing that those wounds will not heal. An apology will not give my mother those years back, or I my language, or us any understanding of each other. Rewind because I need to. Rewind because we need to reconsider violence. December 5th, every year, the, um, the Dutch Netherlands paint their face black and do sorts of pizza. Rewind because we need to reconsider violence. We need to reconsider the idea of entitlement, why some are entitled to happy childhood memories while others are not entitled to the unhappy memories of slavery and the current conditions of the world. Rewind because cultural appropriation exists within our communities, right now in front of us. That colonializing experience is violence that our survivor-centric spaces don't consider colonial violence to be violence, that the conversations that we have don't include us in the they of queer. So, people of color, let us stop debating racism and start declaring. And everyone else can start listening. <laughs>